Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been criticized by a Montecito author for reportedly using private jets for their recent round trip to the UK. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are facing the issue of reconciling a green stance with the desire for personal comfort, an author writing for a Santa Barbara publication has claimed. Prince Harry and Meghan have long been advocating for the protection of the environment and cutting personal carbon emissions. However, their use of private jets has attracted the criticism of commentators over the past years. Most recently, Robert Erringer, a Montecito author, penned a blistering comment on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in the Santa Barbara News Press, a publication focusing on the area where Meghan and Harry have established their new lives after bowing out of the firm as its working members. Reporting claims the Duke and Duchess of Sussex used a private jet to travel to and from the UK for their Platinum Jubilee trip, Mr Erringer wrote, then there's the problem of reconciling a green stance with the desire for personal comfort. Only last year, Harry ranted that climate change is one of the two most pressing issues in the world today. The author referred to a conversation between Oprah Winfrey and the Duke in the Apple TV Plus's special The Me You Can't See, A Path Forward. He said, I believe even more that climate change and mental health are two of the most pressing issues that we're facing and, in many ways, they are linked. Speaking about the climate change emergency, Harry also said, Climate change is really playing a huge part in this as well as social media, and we just don't, well, I mean, I know lots of people out there are doing as best they can to try and fix these issues, but that whole sort of analogy of walking into the bathroom with a mop when the bath is over flooding, rather than just turning the tap off. Are we supposed to accept that these problems are just going to grow and grow and grow and then we're going to have to adapt to them and build the resilience amongst the next generation and the next generation and the next generation? Or is there really a moment, a reckoning moment, post-COVID, where we can actually look at each other? look at ourselves and go we need to do better about stopping or allowing the things that are causing so much harm to so many of us at the source, rather than being distracted by the symptom. Mr. Erringer went on to claim that, despite Harry's urgent appeals for the protection of the environment, the Duke leaves a huge carbon footprint as he travels the world by private jet while lecturing people on reducing their environmental impact. The author branded the Sussex's behavior a pretenseless posture of don't practice what you preach. Prince Harry, Meghan and their children traveled to England ahead of the beginning of the extended Platinum Jubilee weekend earlier this month. While their Sussex Royal Instagram page was a huge hit with royal fans and had more than 10 million followers, Meghan and Harry will not set up new social media accounts for Archul, a source close to the couple has claimed. The insider told The Times Meghan and Harry had no plans to use social media for their new Archul foundation and were very unlikely to return to platforms in a personal capacity. The couple are understood to have become disillusioned by the hate they encountered on social media. And Meghan has previously spoken about the almost unsurvivable experience of online trolling. The Sussex's alleged social media boycott may come as a disappointment to their following. According to a language expert, the move raises the question as to whether Meghan and Harry are hiding from the poison or trying to drain it. Language expert Judy James told Express.co.uk how interesting that social media lost two of its mega giants this week in the shape of Donald Trump and the royal power couple working under the Archul brand. While it's pretty clear Trump's banishment would not have been his choice, for Harry and Meghan this looks like an act of self-exile, similar to their move to the privacy of the US. Judy claimed Meghan and Harry's work towards tackling online bullying seems to clash with their decision to quit social media altogether. The expert said, Harry and Meghan have closed this very direct link to the outside world and although they have spoken and campaigned about the toxic effects of trolling they have still to let us know whether their current decision is an understandable act of retreat to achieve peace or an attack. Are they hiding from the poison or trying to drain it? Judy claimed Meghan risks isolating herself from adoring fans by not engaging with them online.